All right, so full truth, I wasn't even gonna be filming a video this week. I'm out visiting my in-laws in San Diego area and I decided, no, I'm not gonna do it. And then somebody posed a question and I decided, okay, got my laptop, got my iPhone, that's all I need, let's get this done. Who wants to know how to make a book out of your own printer? Let's go. What's going on everybody? My name is Dave Connery. I'm an artist designer based in Southern California and I am not in my typical scenario. I'm not in my typical setting. I'm not using my typical equipment. That's okay. It's okay. I wasn't planning on doing this video and but uh, I'm here anyway because uh, yeah, I, I wanna keep it, I wanna keep in stride, keep the content coming. And this one today, what we're talking about folks is how to do something very specific in Affinity Publisher. Let's get to the question. The Creative Hog says, can you do a video please on how to print out books pages back to back? Meaning, how can you get a book design out of publisher and onto printed pages out of your own computer in a way that the pagination works? If you just go and design something in publisher right out of the gate and then you just print it, it's just gonna print page one, page two, page three, page four, and that's not how books work. I made this thing up. I but not before I say, hey, do me a favor, like this video, subscribe to my channel, make sure you hit that bell so you never miss a thing, and then share this video with your designer homies or anybody aspiring designer homies. I don't care, share it with your homie homies, and that'll be great. I made this little makeshift book or booklet of 16 pages, basically four pages of regular paper folded in half. So as you can see, page one, page two, three, page four, five, page six, seven, and so on. But here's the thing. Let's go back to page one. Now, most of you designers are going, Dave, we already know how to do this, but just in case you don't, let's take page one, or rather the cover off. Here's your cover. This would be your back cover, page 16. But when I open up the pages on the inside, it's page two and page 17. Getting even more complex. Here's page three page four, but then this is 13 and 14? That doesn't make no sense. How do you get your printer to understand that that's what you want it to do? How do you get the pages to come out of the machine like that so that all you gotta do is grab them off the printer, fold them in half, staple them in the middle, and get to work. The reason that I think Creative Hog is asking this question is they probably want to print their own zines or newsletter or something of that nature. I had to go dig in to see how this works in Affinity Publisher because I've never had to do it, but let's get to it. Right, guys, you can see here on the page, what I'm doing here right now is essentially, you can see all the pages. I've got 16 pages, just like I had in the booklet. They are all numbered. Essentially how you do this, by the way, you go into your master page and you see I've got these hashtags, but you don't just put hashtags. That just won't put the page number on there. You have to go up here, you have to go to text, you have to go insert, and then fields, and then I don't have a text field going, but you would normally hit page number and that would generate this thing right here that I can put here on the page. And then when I go back to the pages, boom, page numbers, page numbers all the way down to 16. Well, oh, that just like, well, that will fix right now. Let's just move that over there and we'll move that over there. So now when we go back to 10 and 10, 11, yeah, that's better. That's the unimportant segment of this uh, tutorial. Anyway, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 30, 40, 50, 16, just like we had the booklet. But how do we get this thing on the screen to print like this thing so that it comes out all the numbers on the right thing? Because if I printed it just like this, it would just print out like, like you see it. It would print out exactly how you see it and that, that wouldn't line up the pages correctly. If you were truly industrious, you could actually go, okay, well, I know that I wanna have this thing on the last page and this thing on the middle page and I need to, and you could try and figure that out yourself, but you don't have to do that. Publisher will do this for you and I'm gonna show you how right now. It is so simple. You just go up here, you go print, file to print or command P if you wanna go super expedient. You're gonna come into the print settings and you can see it already showing one and 16. It's already flipping that because I think I probably adjusted that myself. You wanna go in here to this section where it says range and scale, but what we want is document layout. We wanna change this to booklet, not book, booklet. Now, as you can see, if I click through these screenshots here, it's readjusting. Now, if I go back and do a single, right? Then it's single pages all the way to 16. But we're, for our purposes, we're choosing booklet and then I am, I, I'm not attached to a printer right now, so I'm not going to print anything out. Instead, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here to PDF, and I'm gonna save as PDF, and it's gonna break up this 
uh, this dialog box, obviously, here. I've already saved this once before. Uh, I'll just call it uh, pagination test because that's what we're talking about here. This is pagination, folks. Any printer will want you to know that word and then hit save. And it's that simple. Now, if I go to my handy dandy preview, this is my old one. Let's open the other one. Find it, where's it at? Pagination test. Now it's gonna be sideways. Let's rotate these pages just so you can see the better. There we go. One, 16 or 16, one. Let's go back to the cover here, 16 and one. Now, if I were just going to print this out, that's what would happen. And then all I have to do is turn the paper over and it would be two and 15, which is the next page. And then the next page is 14, three, and 4, 4, 13, and 12, 5, and 6, 11. And if I were to go through all of these pages that I assembled, you would see that this lineup is exactly the same. That's it. That's how you print a booklet design that you didn't design to be a booklet. I mean, you designed it to be a booklet, but you didn't know how the pages were gonna paginate. That's how you take a non-paginated document and turn it into a paginated document in Affinity Publisher. That's simple. Hope that helps. Go make all your zines or have your printer take care of it. It's up, completely up to you. And I probably wasn't even looking in the right place because I'm not, I'm used to looking at the center of the device and not over here at the phone camera thing. So if I wasn't looking at you in the eye, I'm sorry, but I meant to, and I was thinking about it. All right, that's it for this video, folks. I hope you got a little bit of value out of that for anybody who wants to make their own zines. If you don't want to make your own zines, well, then um, I'm don't. I don't know. But if you do want to make your own zines, I hope you got some value out of this. And if you did get some value out of this, make sure you go down and tell me in the comments. And while you're headed down there, make sure you like my video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that bell so you never miss a thing. And then, of course, go tell all your paginating homies. All right, I'm going back to vacation mode. So you remember, be good today, be even better tomorrow. See ya.